Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome back to Audio 46, your headphone destination. I'm Franco, and today we'll be taking a look at one of my personal favorites that has come across my review desk. This is the Ultrasone Edition 11. Let's talk headphones. Ultrasone is a top headphone brand out of Germany that boasts an impressive portfolio of audiophile quality headphones, some of the most popular of which come from their Edition line. The Edition 11 is the latest, and at a strictly limited quantity of just 1,111 units, we're going to break down what it has to offer and see if there's something that should be on your radar. Let's take a look. As you can see here, the box is pretty large and it's fairly standard, with just the picture on the front here, and some nice silvery reflective details which you can see if you expose them to the light here. When you remove the interior box from the sleeve, it comes in a simple, no frills, white cardboard box which opens upward here like so. On the inside you have your Edition 11 headphones which already look really great out of the box. On top of the first layer you can see that these don't have a hard shell case, Ultrasone opting instead for a much more lightweight leather zipper pouch that you can store these in. There's also another small, deep blue colored drawstring bag which contains your cable. So sometimes in our videos here you'll see that we'll put the headphones on a stand so that we can display them better and give you a better look, but the absolute coolest thing about these is that they come with their own stand already in the box upon delivery. This is a really generous feature since you usually have to spend a pretty penny out of pocket to get a decent one of these. And decent this is, it's not cheap. It's made of a dense, strong metal material and the black color looks really great for storage or for display. Also taped to the box on the top is this plastic sleeve which has your paperwork and a microfiber cleaning cloth. In terms of design, the materials that went into the production of the Edition 11s are all fairly high-end, and I imagine that there was no expense spared in pursuit of ergonomics as well as a really high-end and classy look. The headband is a black solid aluminum that has a bit of shine and feels nice and sturdy. It's topped with a covering of Alcantara suede for extra softness and pressure relief on the top of the head. They are also extendable with a smooth adjustment mechanic for a wide margin of fits. The yokes are made of the same aluminum as the headband and they extend to the center of the ear cups and feature this nice ultrasone etching on the side, enclosed in a clean, sleek looking silver circle which I happen to quite like as a bit of detail. The ear cups themselves are really stunning and made of a deep, dark colored walnut that's smooth to the touch and looks really alluring and refined. The grill work on the side that lays over this perforated silver mesh type material completes the look and gives these headphones a real sense of sophistication. The ear pads are large and have plenty of room to totally envelop the ear. They are made of a very plush micro velour that will probably take some time breaking in to take the shape of your ear, but once it does you'll be able to forget that they are even on your head as they are that comfortable. The open back also provides a good amount of circulation which safeguards against overheating unless you happen to be in a very overly hot environment. The clamp force is pretty strong which I don't generally prefer, but again as I said once you get used to them this becomes less of an issue and I found it to be bothering me less and less as time went on. The 2-pin cable connector here is also a little strange as it seems it would be more at home in an IEM type model. This is not explicitly a problem of course, but it just seems worth noting as it is unusual. One of the more notable features to get into here with the Edition 11 is the driver. Typically ultrasound drivers are titanium plated mylar, but the Edition 11's driver features a true text biocellulose fiber composite membrane for less distortion and crystal clear sonic reproduction across all of the frequencies. Even more important than the kind of driver in these is the location of the drivers, which takes us right to Ultrasone's S-Logic Plus technology. Now, for all of you Ultrasone stands out there, you're probably already pretty familiar with this. But for those of you who don't know, this technology has everything to do with where the drivers are placed and how that affects your spatial and dimensional listening experience. Typically, many headphones have drivers that are pressed up right against the ear cups and are sending sound directly into your ear on both sides. The principle of S-Logic Plus natural surround sound is that it seeks to create an effect where the sound is floating around your head, almost as if you're listening to two speakers that are placed behind you in a fixed space. This amount of spaciousness cuts down on listener fatigue and allows you to listen with more precision. The way this works is Ultrasone's specific design of decentralized driver placement, which means that the drivers are not sending sound directly into your inner ear. Instead, the driver placement sends signal to the outer layer of the ear that lets it bounce in different directions before it enters the ear canal. This much more accurately mimics the directional and three-dimensional way that we hear sounds in real life. S-Logic is notable because it is the only headphone system that achieves this effect without any artificial echo, digital sound processing, or crossover delay. All your sounds will be reproduced just as they were recorded and engineered to sound. Not only is this good for precise listening, but Ultrasone also claims that this configuration allows for less direct pressure on the eardrum and provides a better safeguard against hearing damage than other headphones might. And even further, these Edition 11s employ MU Metal Shielding and ULE Ultra Low Emission Technology, which seeks to cut down on magnetic field emissions while listening, 
especially for audiophiles and audio professionals who spend long hours wearing their headphones. Basically put, Ultrasome puts a lot of care into making sure that their products are better for you and your hearing, which is also why they always recommend that you play your music at a low and moderate volume. You're not going to do that. These Edition 11s have a pretty low impedance of just 32 ohms, which means that you can plug them right into your computer or your smartphone, and they're still going to have enough juice to sound really, really good. Today, in order to get the full effect of the S-Logic Plus technology and to hear as much detail as possible, I'm going to be pairing my Edition 11s with this Ultrasone Panther high-res DAC for my listening. Let's get into it. A moment ago, I just outlined all the technical pains that Ultrasone went through in order to get a really sophisticated and unique soundstage, and I'm happy to say that these Edition 11s deliver on that front and then some. I compared a lot of tracks for this, but one that particularly stood out for me was a song called Awake and Pretty Much Sober by Violence and Monica Martin. This track is really lush and has a lot of rich, airy textures from synths to pianos to strings, vocals, and deep bass. And there was a really clear separation between all of these elements. There are a lot of pans and dynamics between the various parts in the production of this track, and it really felt like they were all floating through space that seemed much bigger and more expansive than just the room around my ear. In this song, there was a great synth chord that hits at the beginning of the verse and almost sinks into the background, creating a nice, hazy layer behind the lead vocal. As the other instruments, like violins and keyboards, came in, they seemed to materialize really clearly from the decay of this earlier synth part. It felt like if I turned my head, I could turn toward the origin of those sounds and lay out exactly where they were moving around, creating a really exquisite out-of-head projection for me that was just a treat with this song in particular. Unsurprisingly, apart from the soundstage, the actual quality of the sound itself here was exceptional and provided for a really balanced and pleasant listening experience. Like most products from Ultrasone, the Edition 11 features a sound signature that tends toward being a bit V-shaped with robust bass and bright clear highs. The amount of airiness and spaciousness here means that the bass can be really fat and full, but also have a lot of dynamic quality. So if you're listening to something like Rage Against the Machine, which has a really propulsive kick drum and a really growly bass, it'll allow that stuff to be really punchy, but it won't be so massive that it will let the other things on top get lost in the mix. The mids, while just a tiny bit recessed, are fairly clean and sharp to provide for a good amount of detail. In something like Fantastic Six by Alphabet, where the guitar and bass play a lot of parts in unison, I can hear distinct differences between the tone and even the attack of the notes on these two different instruments, despite the parts being nearly identical in a lot of moments. Finally, the highs here are very bright and very forward sounding. This puts a really nice bow on the rich and rounded out low end and gives these a really nice balanced quality. The more you push the volume, the more you'll start to hear the highs overtake those low frequencies and become a little less balanced, but I found in my experience that you will rarely have to crank the volume that loud because of the tremendous balance that the sound staging and the frequency response already provides in these headphones at a pretty low volume. As a limited run product, the Ultrasone Edition 11 is absolutely worth looking into if you're looking for something that will provide an extremely pleasant listening experience and something with a really wide and unique sound stage. Some pros include a beautiful deep walnut design with comfortable velour headband and ear pads, an open, airy sound signature with expansive levels of sound stage and precision imaging, a headphone stand that comes in the box. These may not be for you if you're not crazy about the lack of a hard case, don't like the two pin connectors, or prefer an explicitly flat sound signature. Have any questions or concerns or just want to tell us what you think of the Ultrasone Edition 11s? Then drop us a line in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. Don't hesitate to check out our blogs and other reviews over at audio46.com or drop into our brick and mortar store on 46th Street in New York City to try these out for yourself. I'm Franco with Audio 46, your headphone destination. See you soon.